What's up? It's your girl Karina. I feel like ever since I started my channel, I've always got a comment about color analysis. Have you ever thought about doing it? To be honest, I never really dress flattering or dress based on colors. I just dress on the vibe, but I'm not gonna lie. I've always been curious, you know, how beneficial it can be. I'm excited to share that actually Open Wardrobe just added a new feature onto the app and they're kindly sponsoring today's video. So your girl got a virtual color analysis and it's all based on the tonal system, which is gives you some keywords and colors to use when choosing what to wear which I was like let's try it out so for those of you who don't know open wardrobe to me is like a digitalized closet you can upload your clothes in there and then you can also use the app to create outfits and they also have a Lola AI feature that can also do your outfits I really enjoy the aspect of when y'all come and like create outfits for me and definitely really want to do that in a video and likewise it's just a great app to see what's in your wardrobe because I feel like sometimes this is just not enough but if you haven't downloaded the app you can use my link in the description box other than that I want to show you the results of my analysis and then create outfits based on that and then outfits that are maybe like the opposite of my color analysis so let's get into it when you open the open wardrobe app it's a new feature that says services they have two different services like a personal style one and also color analysis my overall color is deep overall look is dark and strong you look best in deeper jewel tones I am and pastel colors when worn on their own make you look tired like the different color palettes that come with this deep so soft whites ivory chocolate give an example of how like you can make color combinations which is really cool because I feel like sometimes when I'm dressing in color it's it's a little bit more difficult for me and so I really like that they give options wear strong colors near your face contrast these with lighter or brighter shades from your palette choose brighter colors from your palette such as lime or emerald green or a blush pink bind them with like a stone or a taupe interesting I never thought of that if you decide to wear lighter colors near your face balance your look with deeper colored makeup so that you don't look pale or washed out they also show a makeup colors that would look good based on your skin tone and I got like mahogany I got red lips and then the eyeshadow as well if you're in a place where you're not really sure what makeup to try out this is definitely a good way so with all the information I thought we would do outfits based on what isn't for me and what is for me but again I just find it interesting to see if like maybe my skin tone pops more with like the deeper tones versus light all an experiment we're gonna have fun and let's start with the outfits y'all so I have have these pink gainum pants y'all can you tell your girl is obsessed with gainum right now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the light color and then go with the dark so we can see the difference is in a very light pink it's almost like a baby pink which is not in my deep color analysis but obviously I liked it so I thrifted it and then I have this like darker hot pink which is in my color analysis. So we're gonna try both of these on. I think I'm gonna start with the light and then go with the dark. Here is the top right here. I'm really enjoying this like monochromatic pink fit. Even the shoes are this like pink color. I like this fit, I think it looks really nice. The only thing I did notice is that when I put this top on, I felt like, whoa. I do feel like this color of pink it is a lot for me and then I realized I don't really gravitate towards this top even though I really enjoy the silhouette and I feel like because these pants have both of the light and dark it's gonna work perfect with different tones of pink that I have and let's go on to the dark okay so now we are wearing the darker tone pink as I do feel like my skin tone looks a little bit more rich it's so interesting now that i'm thinking about it because when i put my outfits together i'm not thinking about all this like color analysis theory i just put things together based on like how i like it or you know how i feel like it looks on me i feel more comfortable wearing this top out than i did with the lighter one it's definitely gonna be ready for spring because all the colors today that we're trying on i'm like yes so i'm gonna put both of them side by side and tell me if you see the difference i do want to say i do see the difference in my skin i feel like it does pop out with the darker tones but you let me know <laughs> i'm trying to use natural daylight but i also have two studio lights so the lighting could be off in a little bit but i i still think you can see somewhat of the difference so now i want to move on to the next color which is green okay you tell me what you think first and then i'll tell you what it is or maybe you already know what it is did you guess it did you have enough time this is based on my deep color tone so 
darker green i want to say like a kiwi green and i paired it with these shorts that also have like a dark green and i just went with these shoes i wanted to go with like a simple shoe I think with the last two tops you can definitely see more of my skin but this is more i feel like focused on the face do y'all think i'm glowing in this color or is it my makeup i don't know here's this one and now let's try a different green. so here is the other green and i will say this is more like a pistachio green this green is definitely more like in the lighter spectrum i will say though that i think when it comes to lighter versions of colors i don't see myself wearing them as often if it was like black would i've worn it more i think putting these colors side by side i'm slowly starting to recognize that it might be just the shades i gravitate towards more like darker tones and i didn't realize that at all so I put these on. This is all I opening experience for me. You learn something new all the time. I'm looking right now like within my legs and since I am a little lighter here then I feel like I'm darker in my arms if, based on like how I tan. It looks a little washed off here but that is the color green. Okay so now let's move on to the color gray. I'm feeling gray. <laughs> no I ain't because it's sunny outside. Here is the like heather gray top with the skirt i decided to just pair it with these heels i like the little silver on it and i feel like it just pairs really nicely with the sequin skirt so i feel like the gray is going to be a very interesting one because i don't see the difference i feel like in the last year i've definitely gotten into more grays so i'm kind of new with different shades of gray maybe this type of gray has like even a slight darker tone but i will say this seems like more of a heather gray and this is the lightest gray I own as well. I can't see the difference, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I can't see the difference right now. It looks great. Let's try on the charcoal gray. What I am realizing with this gray is that I feel like it blends more with my hair. Like it goes with the flow. And I think with the other top, it didn't. I'm just recognizing on the mirror and on my viewfinder, if I'm wearing both tops side by side i do like this tone better that i do have more of this darker tone gray in my closet and i think i only have two pieces that are lighter i definitely see why this is more of a deeper tone gray and why it would go better with like my complexion but also just my hair and that also made me question like if i would change my hair color let's say i had blonde which i had blonde for a moment how would that change my color analysis will i still be deep I'm, I'm interested in that but I do think with how I have my hair right now and how I've tanned so far this definitely goes more than the other gray for sure you can see that but as always you let me know down below yellow is the color that I have least in my closet I think I only own three items in yellow I think yellow is one of those colors that is very intimidating to me every time I put on something yellow it does make you happy but maybe I'm also not wearing yellow because you know they say bees like to sting people with yellow i don't know if that's a myth but maybe that's why i also don't wear yellow <laughs> according to my color analysis this is the lighter version of yellow and i immediately i did notice that in my thighs it looks a little bit more washed out and i also feel like my face looks a little bit more pale it's very slightly i feel like you can barely see differences i will say i had this dress in my closet haven't worn it in a while but especially now that we're in the springtime and like trying these colors out it's definitely making me excited to rewear some of these pieces like i didn't realize that how much of the color pieces that i have owned in my closet i don't wear them as often so i'm taking this as also taking some of these color pieces and wearing them out now let's change it to the other dress which if you saw my instagram post on my birthday you saw this dress let's get into it so here is the dress First of all, of course, I automatically love this dress because it was my birthday dress. I knew when I selected this dress, which I actually got on Whatnot from Steph, who is Costura Shop on Whatnot. You can check her out. She has amazing stunning dresses. I remember when she showed this dress on a live, I remember thinking, oh yeah, it's yellow, but it's not like bright yellow. It seems like a deeper yellow. And that's why I felt more inclined. And right away with the yellows, I've noticed again that this kind of yellow goes so nice with the hair it's more like the hair that i've noticed the skin tone i'm gonna put them side by side because i feel like in this dress i'm more i feel like i look more like in a summery tone like more tan than with the lighter yellow dress and your girl harley tans i have like an uneven tan that's for sure the way i really enjoy both of the dresses and i think this is enough yellow for me of course you're gonna let me know what you think down below 
Okay, so this is the last color, but I am gonna be doing it a little bit different because I kinda wanna show a side-by-side -side of different colors next to each other and see if you see the difference. So the first one is white. According to my deep color tone, it says that for me, I should be going for more like a soft ivory. It is really, really bright. I didn't realize how bright it is until I'm standing in front of my white wall. Even my wall here is a little bit more warm tone or ivory, I would say, than this dress. I feel like this dress is like, bright not worn this dress i remember thrifting it on poshmark i thought it was a cute little dress for like a civil court thing or like taking engagement photos in have not done that <laughs> probably will soon that's on my vision board for 2024 and again one of those pieces in my closet that i have not really worn it's been in my closet i have not decluttered it because i really like it but I just don't wear it. Maybe because I don't know where to wear this piece to. I mean, I think it'd be cute, like if you're going out, maybe like with the leather blazer or something like that. Let's try another color that is definitely in my deep color chart. So I'm wearing this deep tone navy. I wanted to do a side by side of this different like slip dresses. Have you seen that scene of Michelle Pfeiffer? It's that movie with Al Pacino. So I want to say hello to my little friend. She's wearing a dress in a similar tone, in a similar style. And I remember being like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I feel like that right now. Cute and sexy. Because of this color, I feel like I stand out more. More, especially even like behind the white background. Either way, these are both very sexy uh, lingerie pieces. I know these shades are no way the same color, but they are the opposite of what it is in my color analysis. I also wanted to show you that difference as well because I feel like I was showing you more of like the deeper tones within the same color. But I also thought this would be a great example of it doesn't have to be the same color, but even just like the different tones in opposite colors. So that is that. And all in all, this was a great learning experience. I didn't realize subconsciously that I go for these like deeper tones in my outfits or just like when I pick color. The feature on the open wardrobe app is a great avenue to start with and then if you want to potentially get even more like one-on-one -on -one professional like color analysis I think that would be really intriguing as well because I feel like it's a very detailed thing and that's something that I've also thought about so let me know if you want me to go like a very detailed color analysis theory because this is more of just uh, virtual but I still think it was really spot on especially because it's a very flexible one it's been very insightful that's for sure so if you are curious about doing color analysis on yourself download the open wardrobe app use my link you, and also you can follow me there too you can even access my wardrobe if you like and create fits and I think that's pretty cool and I would like to do the same I follow some of y'all so that I can do the same as well <laughs> so if you see me asking to follow you it's because I also want to create outfits for you <laughs> anyways y'all I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did don't forget to give it a like please hit the subscribe button down below really appreciate the time you take to hang out with me and watch the vid i am forever indebted to you so thank you very much and if you want to follow me on all my socials i'm living as karina on ig whatnot also talking about whatnot i have my show tomorrow as you're watching this as you're watching this i do have a show so bookmark my show it is tomorrow on monday at i believe 2 p.m pacific standard time so i'm excited i've gotten some pieces i found this cool cool vest y'all perfect if you're going to coachella or even stagecoach i feel like but anyways that is all for me loves i love you lots and i'll see you soon with a new video bye